Hi, today we're demonstrating how to share with the Microsoft Whiteboard. In Quick Launch, the Whiteboard will be set up as part of the template, and I can go ahead and just click on it with the mouse or on the touch screen at the front of the room. It will then prompt the user to sign in. They will sign in by a work or school account. We will prevent this from storing on the local PC by using a group policy either at the server level or on the local PC, which is a setting within Quick Launch. Once I'm signed in, at the bottom you can see that I've got the pens and I can draw whatever I'd like. If I click the check mark, I can add pictures and um, post-it notes and, and other items. If I wanted to add a person to collaborate with me, I can add it here and just search for somebody. Let's say I wanted to search for Robert and I'll be able to share it with Robert. And away goes my invite. If I wanted to, I can also uh, remove him as a participant in the whiteboard. At the end, I have the ability to go ahead and say here, I want to export the image that I'm working on to send it to all the people in the meeting. Now inside Quick Launch, you set it up to store into a particular directory and we'll put the test document here. Because at the end, we're going to zip it up, group email it, and then delete it. Going back to our meeting, we could easily go in and click on group email. This will bring up all the people that are in attendance of meeting. I'll be able to hit just zip that file up and be able to send it to all the people. The good news is that you, nobody can see anything from previous meetings or otherwise. And that's now it's sent. Room reset will take care of deleting the uh, instance and credentials. It will be stored on the server should the person choose to. So they can also choose to clear the board within uh, their Office 365 if they choose. And that's just as simple. I'll click as well. 